Hello everyone, welcome back to my project box. Here we have a GU10 lamp from a shop in the UK called Poundland. Um, it looks like an ordinary GU10 lamp, except this one's a bit special. It's a RGB smart bulb uh, that's Wi-Fi controlled. And uh, that's quite amazing since it's only five pounds. Um, so uh, we'll have a look at it. It's ever already branded. Um, so that's some sort of rebrand of probably a two-year bulb or something like that. So uh, let's uh, see what makes it tick. Let's uh, set it up with the app. And then most importantly, we'll take it to bits and see exactly how it works. See if we can sort of uh, reverse engineer it to a certain degree and see what makes it tick. Let's go. The EverReady Smart Bulb from Poundland. And um, I think it's a two-year based uh, smart bulb. Um, and uh, unlike uh, Poundland's previous smart bulbs that they sold, this particular one is warm white and cold white and full RGB. So it could do all the colors of the rainbow as well. Um, and since it's a two-year based smart bulb, I think uh, we should just use the two-year app instead of the EverReady app, which is probably just a rebrand of the two-year app anyway. So let's just um, install the Tuya app on the phone and then um, see how this thing works. See if we can get it to connect to the Wi-Fi. Now, I don't have a decent GU10 fitting, so I'll have to use an adapter. So I can use one of these GU10 adapters and I've got this improvised uh, screw base. So I'll just put those two together. And then our GU10 bulb should be able to fit neatly in there. And that should be good enough for uh, our demonstrations. There we go. So all that's left to do now is um, open the app, and um, we will uh, we will now attempt to connect this to the Wi-Fi network. So we go add device, and then we choose uh, lighting. And then a uh, light source Wi-Fi. And then um, we put in our username and password. And we have to connect to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So you can't connect to the uh, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. And then click next. And now you have to turn the bulb on to see if it's going to go into blinking mode. So we turn it on. Hopefully it goes into blinking mode, and it does. Great stuff. And then we confirm it's blinking. And then hit the blinking button. And uh, we just wait to see if, um, if it finds it. And it did. So that was rather simple. So uh, we'll just leave the name as it is. And... Uh, Let's see what it can do. So it does the usual warm white and cold white settings. And of course, brightness control as well. But uh, the difference with this one compared to the previous Poundland bulbs was um, You've got color settings as well, so now we can go for uh, various colors of the rainbow. And that's quite pretty for mood light settings. So, yeah, I mean, not bad for a bulb that's just uh, five pounds. You know, a GU10 lamp that uh, has full Wi-Fi control. And uh, remarkably, it's not any bigger than a standard GU10 lamp. So I've seen some Wi-Fi GU10 bulbs which are a bit fatter. This is exactly the same size as a standard GU10 lamp. Um, it's quite nice, actually. So, now that we know that works, um, I think we should uh, take it apart. And we want to see what makes this tick. So it works rather well, and it's fairly cheap, but I think I'm much more interested to see what's inside this thing and uh, what makes it tick. So uh, let's see if we can take it apart and uh, see 
what components it has inside. So I kind of figure if we get a bit of soft plastic, like a credit card or something, and we kind of just wedge it in the side here, and we should be able to soften up the seal if we work our way around. I can already feel it loosening. So it looks like we have our warm white and cold white LEDs in a sort of a giant series string. And these are these multi-chip um, LEDs. There's multiple chips in connected in series. So this will make a giant um, series string. Uh, so these uh, warm whites would all be connected in series. And the same with the cold whites. So there's like two separate uh, strings. And then here it looks like we have um, RGB LEDs. So the red, green and blues. And you can see these tracks running around in circles. So the, all the blues would be connected in series. And all the greens and all the reds would be connected in series. So uh, let's try and take this thing apart. Um, I think this is one of those current um, linear current regulating ICs um, that sort of PWM controls these as well for the brightness. So let's break uh, this little seal here, uh, this silicony stuff, so we can pull the board out. I don't want to break this. Let's see if I can use this safety pin. The safety pin to get in. There's a little gap there somewhere, I think. I might just be able to get underneath. Okay. Well, it's a little bit more destructive than I want it to be. Right, so it looks like we're in, there's some heat sink gunk there, I can already see the Wi-Fi module over there. I think I might have to cut those wires down there, so that we can get in there. So let's put it back together so we can take a look at it. Yeah, so really this whole um, board down here is just basically a power supply for this uh, Wi-Fi module here. Um, it's a 3.3 volt power supply. Um, and it also passes through the high voltage DC from this filter cap here to power this chip directly. This chip operates directly off of main rectified mains voltage. Um, so yeah, it's a, just a buck regulator. Um, there's no isolation transformer. It doesn't need to be because everything's insulated. Yeah, so the mains voltage just passes uh, through this uh, bridge rectifier over here, gets rectified, uh, gets filtered through this capacitor here. Um, then um, the uh, then the little buck regulator chip is a bright power chip. It can be configured for either 12 or 24 volt. And in this case, it's configured for um, a 12 volt. And um, in order to get a nice smooth 3.3 volt um, power supply, 
they've got another uh, linear regulator on this little daughter board in here that just brings the 12 volt down to a very very stable 3.3 volt for this uh, chip here um, for this little uh, Wi-Fi module and um, then that Wi-Fi module passes uh, through two data lines and I think it uses I squared C protocol um, through the two data lines that then tells this IC to um, through its five output channels uh, one for the warm white one for the cold white and one for red and one for green and one for blue so five output channels and it just uh, pulse width modulates the brightness to them uh, from their control signal and then of course you've got your um, positive and negative of rectified mains voltage coming through these pins as well yeah so i we can take a look at uh, some of the data sheets to see how exactly it's all wired up uh, it i think it's pretty much exactly like the data sheet so i didn't actually bother reverse engineering it any further because um, they might have had a few slight differences but it, it works basically just like the data sheet maybe a bit more filtering on the power supply so let's take a look at that so here is the power supply example given by the data sheet for the BP2522 uh, bright power chip and uh, it's very similar they've maybe added a bit more filtering and of course added that uh, secondary 3.3 um, volt linear regulator um, this is set as a 12 volt power supply and then it gets knocked down to 3.3 volt through that regulator and this is the example circuit that the um, bright power data sheet gives for the BP5758 and it's very similar basically the same thing that they used in the final uh, driver board with the LEDs on it but I thought it'd be fun if I could attempt to mash up these two circuits so that they show how they work together and basically how it's completed on the final um, LED bulb how it all works together so let's have a go at mashing them up together so the merger was completed successfully and it's now much easier to read i think so we have our um, ac power coming in and it passes through a fusible resistor and then it goes through a diode bridge or full, full bridge, bridge rectifier. rectifier and then that uh, charges up this filter capacitor so the uh, mains voltage is rectified and then um, you have our switching regulator chip that then pulses this um, inductor here and then uh, you have the reservoir capacitor um, that charges up and um, that's then smoothed out to a, a, a nice smooth 12 volt supply the 12 volt supply is then fed into a good old-fashioned linear regulator I don't know which which type it is the the number when I type it on the internet it doesn't bring up anything online but it's a it looks like a traditional linear regulator um, and that gets rid of any noise that sits on that 12 volt so it gives you a very smooth 3.3 volt output to power our Wi-Fi module now the Wi-Fi module uh, communicates with uh, two data lines on I squared C output that goes to the input pins on the on our um, uh, LED driver IC so the LED driver is powered directly from rectified mains voltage so the bridge rectifier charges the filter capacitor and that rectified main voltage uh, is shared between the switching regulator and also the LED driver gets it directly from that capacitor so they share the same power bus now there are five high voltage output channels on the LED driver and since it effectively takes the um, rectified mains voltage and sticks it straight onto a very long string of um, series connected LEDs there are five of these strings obviously these for the warm white channel the cold white channel and the red and the green and the blue and uh, these uh, LEDs operate at nearly mains voltage so they're about three three volts each forward voltage so there's many of them connected in series and I guess they're just below um, the peak rectified mains voltage so that the uh, current limiting that the driver chip needs to do is just uh, regulating it up and down just below the tip of the sine wave um, to keep it constant that way there's not too much heat generated 
the LED driver can then adjust the brightness to the various LED channels uh, by using pulse width modulation or PWM and that's just rapidly turning them on and off and varying the on and off times. Quite a fun feature that this light has is you can uh, via the app to your app do sound activation so you can have disco mode.